Hello and welcome to EC Electronics. So today's topic is a very interesting topic. Today we are going to discuss some of the memory tips which you can apply while studying for competitive examinations. So a lot of people uh, do complain that they cannot remember all the equations and all the formulas and everything and when they are in the examination hall or when giving the examination they are not able to remember the things. So what are some tips you can do or you can apply when preparing for competitive examinations in order to have memory hacks okay so this video is five tips that is five memory tips for competitive examination okay. so when preparing for a competitive examination like gate exams or isro exam there will be a lot of equations and a lot of connected things right so uh, a very important tactics which you can apply is making of code words for example i'll give you some uh, examples from the electronics uh, subject itself First one is resistor color coding. We are uh, doing problems on resistor numericals and understanding the, uh, the value of the resistance, not by studying the entire chart, but I'm very sure that all of you have heard of the BB Roy of Great Britain has a very good wife. This is a code word. Okay, so like that, you can also form code words by your own, which will help you to remember these very complicated equations and complicated topics with uh, slight tricks. Okay. The other one I have given uh, while uh, explaining the Maxwell's equation in that video, I have given you a tip to make a column or make some columns of all the equations of Maxwell and study them in a connected way. So while going for an examination or for the enzyme preparation, you don't have to study all the topics, you just have to see the column. And while uh, sitting in the examination hall also, you will remember this because it is a tricky thing. Okay, so this is another thing and uh, the star to delta and delta to star conversion. So these are some tricks which you can apply to actually remember the topics which you study. See, when studying for a competitive examination, so you'll be studying a lot of things. So you cannot remember each and every description and other things of all the topics which you study. So always try to make some small code words or some tricky things which, you, which will help you to remember the topics in an easier way. The second tip is that when you are studying, most of the people has this habit of just reading the textbooks in their mind. But this is not very effective as per the studies. So what you can do is, when you are preparing for a competitive examination, get into your room, which, uh, which is your study room, and say the things which you read out loud. Okay, so read out loudly. So when you are reading out loudly, it will be very, very effective for your memory and for your brain to store the things which you read. Okay, this is a, as per the studies, uh, it has come out an outcome that the people who are saying the things loudly or reading out the things loudly are likely to remember those things other than or rather than the people who just read them, read the topics in their mind. Okay, so this is an effective way. And also some people used to highlight the, uh, the sentences or the important things in the notebook so if the textbook is not taken from the library you can use this technique also you can make use of the highlighters or highlight or just take a pencil and highlight the things which are very important so when reading an entire page there will be something some points or some equations or some formulas which are very very important always try to highlight them now the other advantage of this is that when you're taking the textbook just uh, one night before your examination you just have to flip the pages and you will see this highlighted text Okay, so then you will remember the entire thing which you read in the page. So this is again a very, very important and a very useful technique. The third important trick is that when you are uh, studying on every day, after a study session, you have to make short notes of the topics which you have studied on that day. That should not be lengthy. It should have only two or three sentences and all the important equations you have studied on that day. Consider that today you have studied transmission lines. It is a very important topic in uh, EMT. Okay, so you are going to write what is a transmission line in one sentence, what are the most important features in two or three sentences and the all important equations. Okay, so this will enhance your memory power because after the study time, just after study, you are recollecting or you are refreshing your brain and uh, while you are making these notes on every day, for your end time revision, this notes is very, very, very effective. Okay, so this is the third trick. The fourth tip is that before studying a topic, try answering the questions related to that topic. This is a very, very effective way. Why? Because 
before even studying a topic if you are answering or trying to answer some questions means while you are actually studying the topic your brain will try to search the unanswered facts or questions from the topics which you study okay consider that uh, today you are going to study reflection coefficient topic before studying the reflection coefficient you are trying to answer some questions of reflection coefficient and most probably you may not be able to answer the questions so when you are actually going to study reflection coefficient your brain will search for the unanswered questions okay so it will try to recollect the questions and also the study will be very effective and also after finishing off your studies these things will remain in your brain this is a very effective way okay try this i'm sure that you will get results and if you are getting results please do mention in the comments okay so this is a fourth tip the fifth tip is the most important tip and one of my very favorite tips which i usually uh, do when preparing for any examinations okay so this is the teacher and student game so uh, you all know that in order to teach a subject you should have a thorough knowledge of that subject so after your study session on every day try to do a mock teacher student session in which you will be playing the teacher role okay so you are going to actually assume that a person is sitting near to you and you are going to teach that person so whatever you have studied on that day try to teach that person which is an actually imaginary person okay so when you are doing this you should be thorough with the subject only then you should be convey you should convey that subject to other person right so this is a very effective way try the teacher and student game or the method which is a very very effective method because uh, unless and until you don't understand the topic effectively you cannot convey it to another person right so try this this is the fifth tip and when you are studying this thing you are actually saying the things twice once you are reading it then you are saying it so it is a very effective way okay so these are the five tips or five memory hacks which you can apply when you are preparing for competitive examinations so i really hope that you found the video useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends who is preparing for any competitive examination not just electronic any topic okay and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching